Hey folks, it's Michael from BetterMixing.com and today we're gonna take an in-depth look at the CLA Signature Series Bundle from Waves Audio. The plugin is available for Windows and Mac and supports AAX native 64-bit, Audio Suite, RTAS, Audio Unit, VST and VST3. It's also available for SoundGrid so you can use it in any DAW you're using on any operating system. According to the website, the bundle has been created in collaboration with mixing engineer Chris Lolelci, who has been a very successful mixer, especially in the rock genre, for over 20 years. His credits include Green Day, U2, Nickelback, Ava Levine, Bon Jovi, and many, many others. These plugins should give you kind of out-of-the-box CLA sound. I have to say first that I'm not really a friend of preset mixing, because I think that all of those presets that are available with every plugin have been created for a very specific purpose, for a very specific sound and they normally don't fit into your mix as they are. You always have to tweak them to get the best possible results. Of course, presets are good if you're new into mixing so you can get an idea how to treat different materials. With these plugins, you'll get some presets that I strongly suggest you to look at to get an idea of how the plugin works. But I really think that it is the best to tweak them right away because I think that most of the presets are pretty useless as they are. As always, all opinions in this video are solely my opinion. It doesn't mean that the plugin is bad or good, it's just the way how I see it after being a professional mixing engineer for 10 years now. I'm not affiliated or endorsed by the company that sells this plugin and this video is not sponsored by the company. If you want to try these plugins, head over to waves.com and download it. They're offering a 14 day free trial. Okay, that's enough for the legal stuff. Let's take a look at these plugins. We'll start with the CLA drums plugin. This plugin has six different modes, kick, snare, toms, overheads, room, and cowbell. Cowbell obviously was a kind of a joke of CLA. Uh, it works pretty good for percussion, but also for hi-hat and some other drum-related stuff. You'll get five faders, bass, treble, compression, reverb, and gate. And each of these faders have three settings, upper, lower, sub at the bass, roof, top, pipe at the treble, compression is push, spank, and wall. Reverb has hall, club, studio, and the gate has hard and soft. These are fixed settings. I think at the, at the bass and travel control, these are frequencies. The compression, this might be ratios um, that Crystal LG is using all the time. If you want further information about that, just take a look at the manual. Everything is explained there pretty good. The website says you'll get a CLA radio rock sound, so instantly. So let's take a look at this. As a professional mixing engineer, you don't get to mix only rock songs, you have a lot of different genres, working with real acoustic drums as well as sample drums. So I wanted to try what a plugin really can do, and I choose to, sam I choose to use sampled country style drums from Toontrack's Music City Expansion. That's actually something you might be working every day if you're, if you're working with smaller bands or if you need to replace the original drums. So I really w wanted to try out how the plugin works on that and not on a basic rock setting. So let's take a listen to the raw drum sound first. So it's pretty basic, nothing special, just normal, good, natural recorded sounds. Let's take a look at the overheads first. I used the beef preset and tweaked it until I thought it sounds right. So let's take a listen to the overheads drive first and then I'll add the CLA drums plugin. I'm just gonna make sure that I have cool yeah, that I have quick link activated so that I can activate both channels. Okay, now let's take a listen to the dry ones and then I'll add in the plugin. So you can hear the room coming out a little bit more, the highs are a little more present. It sounds okay, but I really wanted to see the difference between this plugin and the way I normally work. So I inserted my go-to channel and set it the way I usually work. So let's compare the CLA drums plugin to a normally mixed overheads. What I normally do on the overheads, I do a little bit of compression. I use a low cut 
and I push just three to B, maybe three and a half at 5K. So let's take a listen on how it sounds with the SSL channel on. Okay, so the overheads come pretty close to the sound I usually create with my go-to tools. It sounds a little bit more roomy, and the SSL one has a little bit more snap and more punch, but when I'm mixing with my normal blocks, I usually add a little bit of reverb to the overheads as well, so they might sound roomy too. Um, for the overheads, I have to say, pretty good job. It works pretty good, and you get pretty good uh, results instantly. So let's take a listen to the room mix. First I'm going to play you the dry sound, then the CLA drums plugin, and then my setting with the SSL channel. I'm going to push them a little bit up because otherwise it would be too quiet. Again, it doesn't sound bad. Uh, the sound I usually achieve by using the SSL channel and the Poltec emulation is almost the same with the CLA drum plugins. Good work on that one. Now let's head hit over to the kick drum. I have two kick channels. I have the kick in and the kick out. Let's take a listen to the dry version first. Okay, let's take a look at the first kick channel. I have used the kick, um, uh, the pop low uh, preset and tweaked it a little bit until I thought it is okay. Um, it is it's actually the only preset I liked on the, on, on the kick, um, but still for me it sounds too boomy um, as it is. So let's take a listen to it. You can immediately hear that this plugin was created for more rock style, harder pop rock genre. It doesn't work on my kick here. But let's add the second kick and listen to them together. On the second kick, I used the same preset, just tweaked it a little bit different than the first one. So let's take a listen to the both kick channels combined. Okay, so for me, it is too boomy and it is too much in your face. Um, if you're using or if you're mixing a lot of rock, hard rock, metal style, it might work for you. It really doesn't work for me because I would actually mix the kick normally that way. Again, I'm not sure. I'm sure it is not bad for certain applications and musical styles, but for me this plugin just doesn't work on kicks. I just prefer a different sound. Let's move move over to the snare, because here I had the same experience with the kick. I, I didn't like the startup preset. Oh, I, I didn't like any preset at all. Sorry, there's windows I'm getting up here. I didn't like any, any presets at all, so I, I used the startup and tweaked it as good as I could. But still, I wasn't. I'm, I'm not really satisfied with the with the sound I got from it. So let's take a listen to dry snare first, and then I'm I'm gonna add in the plugin. And, and because I have the plugin open here on snare, um, it remembers me that you have to be careful 
with facing issues because somehow this plugin starts to introduce facing issues. I had facing issues on the kick and on the snare, um, but the drums were absolutely time aligned. So it is the plugin that introduces facing. So always check your face um, and switch to face if it, if, if it is out of face. Let's take a listen to the dry snare first. Okay, so that obviously doesn't work for me. It might work if the snare was a rock snare and banged really, really hard. But for me, I can create the sound much faster than I want with my normal compression EQ settings. So I wouldn't use this plugin on snare. I would mix the snare that way. But it might work for rock, it surely will work for rock because that has a completely different sound. But it doesn't work on this kit, so a no-go for me here. On a hi-hat, um, I'm not going to show you the hi-hat because actually, oh, I'm, I'm going to show it to you, okay? So I'm, on a hi-hat, I actually got the same result uh, that I, I did with my uh, SSL channel. So let's listen to the dry hi-hat and then I'm going to add in the CLA plugin. So that's, that's pretty okay, it sounds almost the same uh, like when I'm mixing it with my SSL channel, so it's, it's, it's good for that occasion. Now let's move over to the toms, and I'm gonna loop them here. Um, and this is something I really was surprised by, because I think it really works for the toms very good. It gives a, uh, a very, um, let's see what I used here. Um, on the toms, I used the atomic preset and that actually gave toms a bombastic sound larger than life sound and i can't think of using this one in a parallel chain so i'm um, treating the toms like i would normally treat them and then uh using that as a parallel chain and blend it in uh, might be a really good sound and create very very big toms um, if you if you need them and so on. So let's listen to the dry toms first and then I'll add in the plugin. Okay, so it does sound good. Um, it sounds obviously a little bit of too much reverb, a little bit of too much delay. But uh, it does sound it does sound pretty cool, and uh, I think that that you can use it in a parallel way. So now let's like let's take a listen at the whole kit without the plugins, and then with all the plugins activated. Okay, so it does a pretty decent job on the drums. Uh, if you think about that, I that I actually I don't know how much time I spent uh, inserting and tweaking them. Maybe ten minutes for the whole drum kit, and for ten minutes, I think that you are um, getting a pretty good sound. So, for drums, if you're new to mixing, if you want a basic sound that sounds or at least a little bit of radio ready, this plugin is definitely worth it. Let's take a look at the CLA bass. 
plugin which I have here in this country session um let's listen to the dry bass first and I'm gonna show you no I'm gonna show you the plugin first okay so the bass plugin comes with six faders you get bass treble compress sub distortion and pitch pitch is kind of a chorus or flange um yeah that's basically it um I used the DI feeder tweaked it a little bit and it's always important um I forgot to say that in the first place that you make sure that you're hitting the plugin with the right gain so this light here should be yellow to orange green is not enough level and red is too much level um so let's take a listen to the bass guitar and then i'm gonna add in the plugin <laughs> Okay, you can hear how the bass guitar gets better defined when I activate the plugin and it sounds much more in your face. I also mixed the bass guitar with the SSL channel, so let's take a listen at that one. Honestly, I like the CLA bass much more. Maybe I should take an overhaul how to mix my bass guitar. No, honestly, normally I have three or four bass tracks. The DI track, the amp track, the distortion track, and a room track that are all planted together. With this plugin, I get the sound I want almost immediately without having to blend four tracks. So for me, the CLA bass is a clear winner. Let's take a look at the CLA Unplugged. I used an acoustic guitar to test this one. i put that off. Okay. Um, on the website of Waves, they say that this plugin is a dream box of reverb effects plus high res EQ and compression for complex sounds. It can be put on strings, piano, acoustic guitars, and nylon guitar solos. The plugin was designed to give you limitless reverb and delay possibilities and the smoothest EQ, er, EQ curve around. Now that's a lot of talking in times like these where the plugin is getting better and better each time a new one comes out. So let's take a look look at the controls of this first you get six faders you have a bus fader travel compress reverb one reverb two and a delay and you also can set the pre-delay for reverb one and reverb two um, you have also the direct button if you click that then you get only the bad signal which is interesting if you're using the reverb or the delay as a send okay now let's listen to the acoustic guitar to the dry recording and then we're gonna put in the plugin and see how it sounds <laughs> Okay, so you can hear that the guitar gets more highs and more snap. Mm, there's also some reverb on it, which is quite nice. Um, let's take a listen at how I would mix the guitar if I would using my normal plugin, the SSL channel. What I did here is just a little bit of compression, a low cut, a little bit of, of 8K, a little bit of 3K, and a little bit of 160. So let's take a listen to that. <laughs> Okay, so that sounds similar. The CLA plugin creates a little more high end, but you can tweak it if you don't want that in. Um, let's take a look at how the plugin performs on a piano. First, let's take a listen to the dry piano, see how that sounds, and then we're gonna add in the plugin.
Okay, so obviously there's a lot of reverb in it, and for my opinion, it sounds overprocessed. Even after some tweaking, it still sounds overprocessed. So of course you might say that you can tweak a lot more and and try to find a sweet spot, but they advertise this plugin as getting radio ready sound immediately or instantly. So um, if they if they state something like that, I don't want to spend tweaking 15 minutes to get a sweet spot of this plugin. So for me, it doesn't work on a piano because honestly, if I have a piano recording that is as beautiful as this one, I would just do a little bit of tweaking with a little bit a little bit of 6k and here I think around 2 2.2 and a little bit of low end and a little bit of compression would sound like this okay so I'm, I'm not really happy with that the CLA unplugged did very well on the acoustic guitar but for me it sounds just too over processed on a piano let's move on to electric guitars this should be one of the bundles highlights since CLA is known for his guitar sounds so let's take a look at the plugin first okay so here you have six faders you have a bass treble compression reverb delay pitch which is chorus of Langer, and you have the reamplify section that allows you to choose between clean crunch heavy or pie pass um okay so i was really quite curious to to hear how that sounds on electric guitars because i, I really had high hopes in that as i had with the drums but i was really disappointed in the kick and the snare but let's take a listen to the dry guitar recording first and then i'm gonna add in the pipe the plugin i did use a preset the electric main man preset and tweaked it just a little bit i think i added a little bit more bite and the bass control so let's take a listen to the dry version first <laughs> Okay, so I didn't use the SSL channel on this track to compare it because honestly, I really like how it sounds. I only did very small tweaks and it sounds, actually it sounds ready immediately. So I really like that. Let's take a listen at a rhythm and guitar that we have here. First, I'm gonna play you the dry recording and then I'm gonna add in the plugin. I used the power chorus setting and tweaked it a little bit. Again, I like that here as well. I tried this plugin on different projects on my guitar tracks and it worked every time. So this plugin is surely one of the highlights of this bundle. I'm gonna play you part of the song with all plugins uh, deactivated and then I'm gonna bring them in so you can hear what they actually are doing. So let's listen to the dry version first and then we're gonna bring in all the plugins. Gonna that's one, okay. Okay, so what you get, you get um, a much more radio-ready sound with the plugins, and actually in the context of all instruments playing together, I like the piano. So um, it's good, yeah. It is good, in, in that case it was really good. It doesn't work on my country drums, but this one really sounded good, and it sounded much more radio-ready, and I needed uh, maybe five minutes to tweak the whole stuff. So now let's take a look at the CLA Vocals plugin. Let's like a listen to the dry vocal first and then I'm gonna add in the plugin. I'm gonna try with a I'm gonna start with a female vocal first. I put that up. Okay. Alright, here we go. I'm still in love. Oh baby. I'll be true. Wanna be 
with you. Okay, now let's listen again to it with the plugin activated. And I used the moody setting and I think I did nothing at all. So let's take a listen to that. I'm still in love. Wanna be with you. So there is obviously a lot of reverb and delay going on, but the sound opens up, gets very clear highs, and the vocals sound very in your face. Let's take a listen to the fe uh, to the male vocal and see what the plugin does here. First, I'm gonna put it off. I'll play you the dry recording. Baby, you are you are my one and only. You are my one and only for the rest of my life. Now let's take a listen to the plugin um, activated. I used the preset Rockman and I did not change anything on it. Baby, you are, you are my one and only. You are my one and only for the rest of my life. Okay, so it does worry. Good job here as well. It opens up the vocals. It has a more present and overall a very good sound. So I'm pretty impressed by this vocal um, plugins. And then you get one final plugin. I think I inserted it here, but I never used it. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Well, you got the CLA effects bundle. I'm not going to review that because actually that's a reverb and a delay. Um, you got some presets here and you get red only presets for using as a sand. This one is actually for for insert um yeah the the effects are good um they are not uh i don't know extraordinary but they are not bad either so it's a nice uh, it's a nice add-on to the whole bundles you get some some really cool um distortion effects you get a reverb got a short delay long delay and the chorus flanger um it's okay yeah it's, if you if you want it um or if you want to try it out just download the trial at the waves website and and see if it's something for you I mean, I have so many high quality reverb plugins, I can't see myself using that in the future, but it's in the bundle, so um, when you buy the bundle, you're getting it anyways. Okay, so um, what's the conclusion? I mean, these are, these, are very good bu these are very good plugins, but they are not as good as I expected with the name Crystal Edgy on it. It didn't work on kick and snare and the piano for me, but the overall sound is good and you get um, your yeah, tracks sound a little more polished when you when you use them, and they sound a little more radio ready instantly. Um, I think for five hundred dollars, it is a little bit overpriced because your abilities to tweak the settings are limited. Um, but on your other hand, you can, if you want, buy individual plugins of this bundle separately for one hundred bucks each, and you get a tool set that delivers an out of the box sound that is not bad, and it might fit for a lot of applications, uh, but sp surely not for, for, for everything. Um, but it can help make you any demo sound better. And if you're not familiar with compression and equalization in this, this bundle can help you create good sounds without getting into technical details. Well, that's it for now. See you next time. Bye.